Hi there, it's Jennifer, and I'm here today to do my one month update on my use of the Rodan and Fields skincare system called Redefine. Now, if you are familiar, well, if you're not familiar with Rodan and Fields, they are the doctors behind the Proactive line, um, which I don't have any experience with, but uh, recently found out about this skincare line. Um, a girl I used to work with years ago as a teacher, um, she's a consultant for it now, happened to see that on her Facebook page and went over to check out what Rodan and Fields um, was and decided that I would try it to see if I could get some good results on some of the wrinkles I have and just aging skin stuff. Uh, Rodan Fields has several different lines of skincare. They have one for people who get blemishes, sunspots, sensitive skin, things like that. But of course, what I'm using is Redefine, which is a system that is designed for people who have aging skin. And um, that's me. <laughs> anyway, so I did do another video on this with an open box kind of a thing. I'll link that in the space below so you can check that video out if you want to see um, just some more detail about what's in each of the products. But I will briefly go over this and my experience with these and then let you know about some of the results I've seen. Now let me just say that I did not expect to see results within the first month. I honestly just thought, you know, I'm a person who, who uses product, you know, and, and I use a clear sonic and I use uh, vitamin, vitamin C serum on my face in the morning. I use Retin-A at night. Um, I, I use serums, all that kind of stuff. So I did not expect to see drastic results in a month. I was hoping that what would happen is over time that I would see some results, but I have seen some results in the first month. So it's kind of exciting and I'm going to well, what's not exciting is that I have to show you some pictures that are relatively unattractive, but um, we'll show you some before and after pictures. Okay, so let me briefly tell you about the line. Um, first of all, there is a daily cleansing mask. And what you do with this is you first, like at night, you have to remove your makeup first. So you use a makeup remover cloth or a light cleanser to just take off your, um, your makeup, your eye makeup, all of that. And so I do that and then rinse my face and dry it. And then you take this and you wanna put it on a relatively dry face with wet fingers and you put it on and you rub it in around on your face. It has some exfoliator properties in it, a kind of a light exfoliator. So as you're massaging it in, you don't just swipe it on and leave it, but you kind of massage it in because it's, you know, it feels good, it's an exfoliator. And um, then you put it, um, you leave it on your skin until it dries, so for about two minutes. Then you rinse that off. After that, you use a toner, which I forgot to bring downstairs with me here. But anyway, it's a pore, a pore minimizing toner that you just put onto a little cotton pad and swipe that around on your skin. And then, um, yeah, and that's the second part. And then as far as the basic skincare system goes, the third step is a moisturizer. There's one for morning and one for night. The morning one has a broad spectrum SPF 30. It's called triple defense treatment. And then the one that's for evening is called an overnight restorative cream. So that's the basic skincare line. Now, in addition to those products, I got this thing called the Amp, Amp It Up Roller, Amp, A-M-P. Amp It Up Roller. I have heard people uh, jokingly refer to this as medieval, <laughs> medieval torture. It, it's not really, it's not bad. Um, this roller, it's very interesting. I'd never heard of anything like this before. It has tiny little needles on this roller. Yeah, don't get too scared. It's not that bad. Um, these are acupuncture grade needles. They're very, very short. So not enough, they're not long enough to draw blood. Basically what they do is they make little tiny perforations on the very outer layer of your skin. And the idea of it is that it is supposed to um, help to increase collagen produc production. And it's also supposed to draw in your serums and things like that more deeply because you've created some little perforations and so th those things can go down deeper into, into the skin. So what you do with this, how you use this, is first of all, you start with your cleansing mask and then you put your toner on. 
and then you before you put on anything else that's where you go to this roller and you just do it once a day so you want to do it at night and um, so you take this of course you've got your hair pulled back and you roll it I'm not going to do it on my skin because you don't want to do it without perfectly clean skin you don't want to push any of that stuff into your skin um, so anyway then you just roll this and you're supposed to kind of roll in different directions they say that you can do anywhere from four to ten passes on each area when I started out I just did four um, it doesn't I would not say that this hurts it's prickly yeah it wasn't uncomfortable like oh gosh I don't think I could do this I didn't say ouch it just it's prickly and so I started out just doing four passes recently like in the last week I've been doing about six passes in each area I'll probably get up to where I do ten what I've noticed is that the more I use this the less prickly it feels I mean it's just you you kind of get used to it you know so anyway, so you do this and I do it on my on the sides of my face and then I do it in the four to ten whatever passes on my chin area and my upper lip. Of course, between my eyebrows, I have a frown line and then my forehead. I also do my neck all the way down to this deeper crease that I have here all the way down to my neck. You could. All right. So that's you do that. And then after you put this on, you put on this night renewing serum. This container has a whole bunch of little things in here and so you take one of these little deals here and uh, I don't know if you can see that you break the end off and squeeze all of this out on your finger and then I just apply it to different parts on the face this is these are supposed to have some the stuff is supposed to have some pretty powerful ingredients and it is a night renewing serum so it's supposed to renew your skin I guess um, all right, so then after you use that, then that's when you would put on your nighttime moisturizer. Um, I found that this stuff um, is probably going to last me three months to go through it. Uh, it looks like that's probably um, how long it's going to last, which is um, nice. And uh, it's not particularly cheap, but it's not unbelievably expensive either. I've looked up a lot of different other different kinds of skincare lines that are for aging skin that were at least as expensive as this or quite a bit more. So so far I'm thinking it's a it's a pretty nice deal. So on to my results. Um, I like I said I did not think that I was going to see any big results and I haven't seen results everywhere. So let me tell you about the places where I'm hoping to res see results eventually but that I haven't so far. Okay, I have two creases on my neck. I have one littler one up here and one deeper one here that is formed when I look down. And I work on a computer a lot, and so I'm sure that doesn't help. Um, I haven't noticed much on this deeper crease down here, hoping that with time I will. I also have some little lines that are at, below the corners of my mouth. Haven't really seen much difference there. And then I've always had these really deep forehead lines growing up in Arizona where it's dry and also being a person who, you know, I raise my eyebrows a lot as part of my expressions. And so I had these deep crease lines on my forehead. I have used Botox in the past. I will continue to get Botox injections because it helps to minimize that. I just so you know, I have not gotten any Botox injections since I started using this so that I could show you, you know, just what the skincare line has done. All right. So where I have not seen the results yet is on the outer part of my forehead. I have um, the lines are deeper. They go across the middle, but um, the lines are deeper on the outer part. And I haven't seen a whole lot of difference there. But there are three areas I'm going to show you today that I really have seen some difference. So the first thing um, is this frown line that I have. I have one crease right here between my eyebrows. Um, it's not hugely deep, but it's definitely there. And I'm sure in my videos, you know, if, if you watch it on the big full screen view that you could see that. Um, let me go ahead and pop in a picture so I can show you what I'm perceiving. Well, no, no, no. Before I pop in the picture, let me just say, I'm not a photographer, you guys. Um, I, I, the pictures could be better if I got them done professionally, I suppose, but I'm not going to do that. Um, 
And the lighting, I tried to match the lighting, so I don't want you to think that, well, that only looks that way, it only looks better because the lighting is making it look that way. I have no vested interest in trying to convince you to buy this stuff. I'm not a consultant. I'm not getting a kickback um, in any way from you guys buying this. I'm just telling you my um, honest opinion about this. So forgive the lighting in the photos not matching up. So, okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna pop in the picture of my, uh, the crease between my eyebrows. All right, here you go. So you can see that the picture on the left, that's the before picture, and you can see the line there. And if you look at the picture on the right, the line, if you look at the edges of that wrinkle, it's, they seem, the edges seem softer to me. And I even noticed that just looking at myself in the mirror, that the edges on the, on the after picture look less pronounced and also it sort of seems like that skin in the middle, in, inside the wrinkle itself, it sort of seems like it's plumped up a little bit. So that is intriguing to me. Okay, so there's the, um, the, the frown line. So the next thing I wanna show you is um, looking at this, this uh, lighter line, this less uh, pronounced line on my neck. So let me go ahead and pop in those pictures. You can see in this picture, um, in both of the pictures where the, the line that's at the bottom of my neck is fairly deep. And then I've got this littler one that's sort of in the middle of my throat. And if you look at the before picture and then compare it to the after picture, what it seems to me is that once again, the edges of that line are, um, are kind of blurring out a little bit. And the picture here too sort of looks like I'm like maybe stretching my neck up. I'm not, That's I took the picture kind of angled up under my neck and that's just me holding my, my head in a neutral position. But anyway, it looks to me like it's softening. So that's really nice. Okay, and the last area is, um, this is one that kind of surprised me because I didn't necessarily notice it when I was looking at myself in the mirror. Uh, I've never really had bad um, folds here. I think these are called the nasal labial folds that come from the corner, the outside corner of your nose down to the outside um, corners of your mouth. And mine have never been terrible. I've never had, I have had Juvederm injections in my upper lip, not recently, but I have, but I've never had injections in that because I've just never really felt like it was that bad. Interestingly enough though, when I was taking my after pictures and I'm holding my little iPhone trying to snap pictures. I was really trying to get a picture of the upper lip, the skin on my upper lip. And those pictures just didn't come out very well. I couldn't really get anything that showed the texture of the skin. But what it drew my attention to was what's happening with these folds here. So let me go ahead and pop in the before and after pictures. Boy, oh boy, you know, you take a picture like this, I had no idea that my natural position of my mouth was in a frown. Uh, it doesn't look so great, but we're not looking at that. So if you look at the before picture, you can see that, you know, you can see the folds there. And then when you look at the after picture, I don't know, it looks like they're not as pronounced. And I, you know, part of what they say is that it's supposed to work on firming the skin and maybe that's what's happening. So I am intrigued by this, the fact that I have seen a difference in those areas. What, what it appears is happening right now is that those wrinkles that are not quite as bad, the ones that aren't very deep, seem to be having changes. The ones that are way more pronounced wrinkles, it's probably gonna take more time. One picture I also did not pop in because it didn't come out very well is uh, crow's feet. Um, you know, on the outer parts of my eyes. I don't really have bad crow's, crow's feet, but I do have lines. Those also seem to be minimizing. So all the places where my lines aren't that bad seem to be different at this point. And so now I just have to keep using this stuff and hopefully over time, I will see a difference with all of these, um, with the use of all of these products. So, um, I had mentioned in my previous video that I had done a lot of research about this, that I looked and found a study that was not done by Rodan and Fields. It was kind of comparing, I think it was the use of, of this roller. Women were using it on one side of their face and not on the other side of their face and then using the serum, the night re renewing serum with it. And that there were some changes in terms of wrinkles, but where the 
real noticeable part was, was in the firmness of the skin, which would suggest to me that maybe that's why I'm seeing some stuff with these folds, um, you know, from my nose to my mouth, and maybe it's firming up the skin. I am hoping too that I'll see some more firmness under my neck. I mean, yeah, we're looking at lines here, but also just firming that skin. I mean, I'm, I'm 51 years old, and so, you know, gravity just gets the best of you. I'm kind of hoping that I can turn back time a little bit by using some of these products. So anyway, this has been great so far, and I'm excited to continue to try it. Um, since we're one month out from this, I have a couple more months to go on what I have, and I fully intend to continue to use it so I can see the difference in, you know, in my skin after all that time. So if you're interested in taking a look at the Rodan and Fields products, um, well, first of all, in the coordinating blog post that I'm going to link in the space below, I'm going to put the before and after pictures. Lovely. So you can take a look at those some more if you want to. Analyze those a little bit more closely. And then I'm also going to link in the space below, but also on the coordinating blog post, I'm going to link Melissa's information. That's her consulting website. And I put a link to her her as a consultant so you can contact her if you want to talk to her about any of this stuff but also another link that takes you straight to the products so you can take a look at those things i hope this video has been helpful to you if you have any questions about my experience with using this please feel free to comment in the space below and i will always answer your questions i will be back at the end of three months to give you an update on how it's going after a three month period of time with more before and after photos and hopefully we'll see an even greater difference by then. If you want to be notified by YouTube when I put up new videos, um, just hit that subscribe button right there and YouTube will let you know. I also do other videos about organizational projects, vacation planning. I have a travel series coming up so you might want to um, check that out too and um, lots of things. So I hope you'll come along with me on Busy Being Jen. Thanks so much for watching you guys. Bye-bye.